Riveros are the heart and soul of every team's floor defense. Specialized defending position has made a great impact in the sport since its introduction back in 1998. Now with us to discuss the Liberos of the decade uh, are our uh, volleyball uh, personalities, the very busy but still energetic mamathlete, Madam Phil Kainglet Cayetano, mamathlete, yes, and national team setter. And when she trends online, she is gold, Gia Morado. Uh, welcome, Gia, and uh, welcome back, Phil, to Thank the score. Thank you. Hello. Okay, let's talk about the best liberos of the decade, and let's get this started. Mm -hmm. The first person on your list is Don Macandili. Yes, Don Macandili, because it's the way she extends herself and literally fly on air. You can see photos of her online, as in derecho and derecho, and she can fly and save save the ball at the same time. And also, the memorable sa akin, and nakita ko sa Twitter, I. Keep, I kept on watching it. Is how she saved the ball sa other court. Nag skip siya to the other court. Kasi bawal pa kanya yung line, di ba? Yeah. So sobrang pinalo to minabig ko. Paano yung nagawa yun? And even ngay the way she really uses her body to extend and save the ball. Para magkalanding yun. Ang galing yung mahulog. And yun nga isa pang memorable sa kanya yung 2019 Sea Games. She really tried to run to the bleachers and save the ball and go over the A board. And I was so scared. She was in front of me. I was so scared, but she knew how to land. Yung siguro yung special thing yung parang she can fly. She can literally, literally fly and save the ball and land at the same time perfectly. Na hindi siya masasaktan. And for me, naman, yeah, she's known as one of the most agile defenders of the country, sacrificing her body, and we've seen it both locally and internationally. But for me, what I appreciate most about her. Na nakita ko nung national team stint namin was how much of a leader she is inside. Because there were many times na naikita ko sa teammates ko na naga crumble yung reception, yung confidence sa defense. That's what she does is she huddles everyone and then she says, okay, hinga tayo, let's regroup. Tapos maniwala tayo na magaling tayo dumipensa. Sobrang simple na nung sinabi niyo. Pero pati ako hindi dumipensa, nagginanahan ako. And it works. It works every time. So sobrang Having a libero like that with you inside the court, even as a setter, ang sayang kasama ng ganon. All right, second legendary libero on the list is Den Den Lazaro. Yeah, I played with her for three years in the UAP, and yun nga isarin na criteria or quality na maganda sa libero yung leadership nga. And I played with Den Den, and you can see her composure inside the court, her leadership na parang kaya nyo to. And for so long, parang nabibigyan nyo na ako ng confidence na parang kaya nyo receive ng jan sa for me parang ang kung yari di ako confident sa sarili ko sa receive siya mo na magkocover sa akin and yung leadership na yun na parang she can take part of the burden from me yun yung maganda rin as a libero for then then and yun nga nung UAP career namin lagi kami nagbabanggaan as in lagi kami nagbabanggaan hindi ko alam bakit pero siguro kasi nagagawa kami sa libero para kami nakabasa pero yun nga for then then may time talaga kung sobrang ganda ng laro niya as in ang dali ng trabaho with her kapag kasama siya sa court so me naman atid then Uh, she was my senior when I entered Ateneo, so rookie year ko, she's senior ko, and I don't know. Masasabi ko lang as she really spoiled me. Kasi, <laughs> as in every time na siya yung first touch, I barely move from where I stand. And as a rookie, nung developmental year ko, ang laking bagay nung sa akin kasi all I had to do was think. Kung saan ko ibibigay yung bola, I didn't have to run, oh. I didn't have to multitask a lot, yeah. and. I don't know. I owe a lot to her because if not for her composure, yung how calm she is when she plays, because sobrang graceful dani ati din maglaro de ba? If hindi siya ganon, hindi yung magiging ganon talaga. I do agree because ng nung first game nung walana ko seven season seventy six niyo rookie kano de ba? Nakita ko even yung digs niya na palung palusi din din san chago sa kanya. Sakto lang sa yon. Pero kaya spoil ka na. Okay, next libero on the list is Jen Reyes. Yes, Jen Reyes. Isa pa to sa mga nakalaro ko throughout my UAAP career. And she rin isang agile na player. Grabi magroll, grab. Pinahirapan din kami nung Ateneo time ko versus NU. And you can see naman kasi si Kai Jen Reyes din. Yung puso niya, yung attitude niya sa laro na happy happy. And makikita mo yung attitude na hindi yung palaban. Nandun din. And after our UAAP career, nagiging kakampi ko naman siya. After niya pahirapan yung UAAP, nagiging kakampi ko siya sa profession. National League and dun ko nangana realize na um realize na yung galing yung as a libero na magdala rin as sa team namin. Ako naman I haven't had the chance to play with her or play against her. Pero I was there nung pinapahirapan niya kaya sa atin yun. I was beside the court na kahanap kami ng upuan tapos may mga points in the game na sure point na to na atin yung kasi ang ganda ng play ang ganda ng approach walang blocker. 
Sure point. Tapos biglang, ano siya? Ano siya? Ano siya? Hindi ko maintindihan kung paano. Pero ang galing, like, she has a, she doesn't have a huge frame, a big body. But sobrang nakakover niya yung buong court. And she's so, she's really fast. And her reflexes are on point always. So, yeah, I saw how hard she made her life in college. Speaking of someone that makes you say, oh, paano niya naabot yun? Paano niya nakuha yun? Kat Arado is someone who does that a lot. And her rookie year, not rookie of the year, she got. And her digging and um, reception success is really high. It's, that's very impressive. And part ngasha ng national team, and you can see her performance. Then uh, deserve niya talaga maging national team member. And for her, talaga kahit bung junior niya pala, like, excellent siya as Gilberto. And I think she can really read the ball inside the court, and you know, and receive also. For me, Scat naman is very reliable. She's very quick to adjust. And ah, yung story ko naman about Kat sa national team stint naman. We were going up against Thailand. Tapos nagkasabay kami sa loob ng court. You know, ano ma from Thailand? Her serves are killer. As in, so brang hirap. As in, si Ade Phil kano nito niya na nagflex daw ako ng sobra. I I I message her. Grabe naman labas masil mo sa palung ni ano ma. Kasi ganon talaga kalakas. So naihirapan kami irreceive. So Kat was put in to cover the reception. Tapos, as ni ko makalimutan, she told me, Ate Gia, tignan mo, mahatid ko pa to sa'yo. As in, hindi nga ako gumalaw many times yeah. habang nagsiserve si Onoma. So, having that kind of libero, sobrang yeah. naging confident ako yeah. sa setting, sobrang dumali yung buhay ko. So, and I'm sure she's done the same for all the teams na she's played with. Yeah, ang sarap nang kapag gawin ganong teammate, lalo na pag libero na bibigyan ka ng confidence, parang kung medyo down ka, di ba, or medyo hirap yung teaming nga. Yeah. Ang ganda nang sinabi nga ni Kat na parang dadaling ko sa'yo. Spoiled oh, ka na naman. Spoiled na naman ako. <laughs> Grabe talaga. Well, spoiled din ka may with the stories that you have, especially for, last but not the least, mm -hmm. the, the legendary name uh, dito sa list of liberos. Mm -hmm. Of course, si Tatan Gata Pantone, sobrang OG siya. Like, I couldn't <laughs> believe, like, ganto lang siya. Sobrang lakas ng palo. Ganto na siya! Like, even Pao Suryana, I was talking to her kanina, parang ganyan na ganyan yung tsura niya. Ganyan na ganyan, so relaxed, very composed, and parang... Can you do the, the face again? Yeah. <laughs> nakalapin, nakalapin ko siya UAAP for two years, um, season 71 and 72. So, parang, syempre idol-idol ko, kasi ang galing niya na nababasa niya lahat ng bola. Hindi siya ganun ka, alam mo yun, makulit sa court, pero andun siya. Andun siya. Even the reception, hatid na hatid sa setter. So, always ganun siya. OG siya. Even in beach volleyball, she excelled in that. Department. Ako naman. You know, nagsistick sa akin every time I talk to someone na nakalaban si Ati Tatan is sobrang frustrating niyang kalaban. Kasi yun nga, like she, sobrang poker face lang niya pero perfect lahat, hatid lahat sa setters, spoiled ang setters niya. And she really plays intelligently, same as Ati, what Ati Phil said, na hindi siya malikot, she doesn't dive as much, she doesn't roll, but it's because she positions herself well enough na nababasa niya talaga lahat. So, as in, very smart player. Minsan nga, pinakwestion ko kung, eh, napawisan pa ba ito? Oo, kasi parang, for a time then, professionally, nakalaban namin. Parang, actually, nung time na yun, akala namin, matatalo, natalo kami, kasi nga dahil sa defense niya. Sobrang ganda ng defense. Okay, I'm going to allow our director and our cameraman to focus on you. Okay. Okay? And then you do your impression of Tatan. Go. Tagal mo ba? Tagal mo pa? Para talaga makita ng tao. Hindi lang siya, promise. Para ako, ha, hindi pa siya nahirapan doon. Para kay imports pa yung pumapalo sa kanya. Hingal na, hingal na sila. And that's why these five ladies are the, for you, for you guys, the best liberos of the decade. Don Macandili, Denden Lazaro, Jen Reyes, Kat Arado, and Tatan Gata Pantone. An excellent list. Coming from two excellent uh, guests. Hi, thank you. Okay, <laughs> Madame Phil and Ms. Gia. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Up next, we uh, list down the best snipers in UAP high school boys basketball. Who will be the next? Anton Asistio, Renzo Subido, or Aljun Menesha? Find out when the score returns.